Hey everyone, what happens when you have a load of tests that are failing because you've modified your application? You've made some changes, you've improved stuff, and now the tests are failing. That's great because the tests should fail if you make those changes. But when you're sure that the code has changed and the test is now not gonna match, then basically you can use the healer agent to improve this. So for example, I've got a get by roll menu item. I know I changed the menu item because that was the wrong accessible um, code for for this, the wrong element. So I've made some changes and we've modified it. And I've gone through all of these um, these error messages here and I can see, yeah, I get my old text box. I know this is actually a combo box because I know I watched the agent do the job. The agent actually improved the, the website for me. So now I'm clear, these tests need to be fixed and I can go and manually tweak them. I could fix with AI. I could use the copy prompt button, but I'm gonna use Playwright Agents. Now I've already got Playwright Agents installed, so check out the docs for more info on how to install them with the latest version of Playwright. And now I've got the Playwright Planner, Generator and Healer. But I've already got tests, I don't need to generate anything, I just need to heal. So let's go ahead and click on that one. And then I can basically, um, I can have the actual um, one open here, the test that I want to work on. And I could say, uh, fix this failing test. Um, so I can go ahead and just fix this one test if I wanted to just make sure it focuses on one test. Or I could basically say, just go ahead and run and fix all tests. Now I've already got um, the run tests already um, included here. Um, and now I've got to improve this one, the tool result for run, it's running a list of tests. So I'm gonna say allow, um, allow without review because I really just wanted to go ahead and do its thing. So. This is, um, it's running the test to see what's failing. It's now running the test in debug mode. This is really cool. So it's the creating a new lists, uh, create list with valid details. That's the file I have open here. So it's found the right test. And it's running two tests, two tests. Why two tests? Because I have a, a login first. It's got a login to be able to do it. So it's run the, the um, test here to be able to log in. Uh, that's the setup test. And you can see that um, this is the, the output in here. It doesn't have access to my credentials because I'm using uh, project dependencies. So it can log in without actually seeing any login details. And then it's got to this test here, the locator get by roll text box, name public list, expected yes, and a timeout because the element is not found, expected to have value. So it sees the issue. The test is looking for a text box uh, with the name public list and it should be a combo box like we mentioned. So now it's asking me to approve uh, this, the console, um, the page snapshot. It's taking a page snapshot of everything that it needs to see. So that's great. And let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'm gonna have to zoom down a bit just so I can see the button, there you go. So I'll go allow um, always without review because I wanted to go ahead and let's zoom in back in again. Okay, so now it's got the page snapshot. It can see exactly um, what is on the page, what that element is now called, and it can see the field is a combo box, not a text box. The test needs to be updated, and it's gonna go fix that test. And now it's gonna restart the test to verify the fix. This is really important. It doesn't just fix it, it then runs it, that debug single test again, to just make sure that that is actually the, the fix. Maybe there's another error. Maybe it's gonna find something else, but it's running it, it's fixing it, and uh, it comes along here and it's basically said, yes, this is run, the test is run. You can see it here, uh, the output, two tests passed. And um, and then we can go ahead and just, it's showing me, it's changed it from this to this. Test now successfully navigates to the create list, it does, etc. blah, blah, blah. We can go ahead and keep that uh, for our own check if we're unsure and we don't believe that the AI did exactly what it was meant to do. We can go ahead and run that test ourselves and see for ourselves that that did pass. And then we could basically just continue um, this procedure uh, with all our other tests that are failing. We can do them one by one um, or we could ask it to just basically go and um, run and fix all failing tests. And then it will just go ahead and it will run all the tests. It will find all the ones. Now it first needs to identify which ones are failing and then fix them systematically. Now, a couple of things to notice here. If you are running the test, I am running in headless mode. How I've done that is over here, over here when you install the um, mcp.json, you've got, I've got headless in here in the args. So when you're including, um, the Playwright test MCP server, you can go ahead and add dash dash headless 
so that you don't have that browser window popping up. And that just means everything is going to run behind the scenes so you can continue um, doing what you want to do. Um, if you want to see what's going on, just remove that and then you'll be able to watch everything. So it's going to run the tests here and it's got the two projects. There's quite a lot of tests that it needs to run here under the hood. So it's going to take a little bit of time to do that. It's going to find the tests that need failing. Again, you could totally go along here and just drag in the test into context and then, you know, go through it one by one and keep an eye on it. And of course, make sure you're using Git to then um, see that this is exactly what you, what the change that you made. So you're able to push that to production correctly and easily uh, see the changes, etc. Um, so that's it. Happy testing with the Playwright Healer. Uh, get those tests healed. Um, it's totally amazing to watch it in action. And um, just sit back, relax, get those tests healed.